Chevron Phillips Chemicals polyethylene capacity is expected to increase by 40% in North America, following the startup of its $6 billion U.S. Gulf Coast Petrochemicals project. How do you prepare for the unprecedented amount of product? Chevron Phillips is having 2,750 hopper cars built to carry polyethylene product for our U.S. Gulf Coast Petrochemicals project. The U.S. Gulf Coast Petrochemicals Project will fill about 11,000 rail cars a year of polyethylene. So these cars will be used to move that product from the manufacturing plant to our customer facilities all over North America and also to uh, transload and packaging facilities where the product will go into bags or smaller containers to be shipped all over the world. Let's take a behind the scenes look at how rail cars are being built in Pear Gould, Arkansas. So when it comes to manufacturing a rail car, specifically a covered hopper car, it's a pretty complex process. Obviously we start with uh, raw steel in a lot of cases and, and form up the bigger pieces of the rail car. But even before that, we have several component manufacturing parts plants that bend, form, weld different, a variety of components that then feed into our assembly plant that we're at here today. Once the car is completed here in the steel shop, we apply the trucks and the wheels to the, to the bottom of the car. It's moved over to our paint shops where both the exterior and interior coatings of the car is applied, all the safety appliance, all the required decals and markings that are needed to the car, and then the car is prepared for shipping. These cars were built to Chevron Phillips specifications for things such as the outlet valves, the exterior paint, and the interior lining. The new cars that we're having built have a gross weight capacity of 286,000 pounds, which means that for our products, they'll hold between 200,000 and about 210,000 pounds. This is the largest size car that we have in our fleet. While Chevron Phillips Chemicals Project is being built along the Texas Gulf Coast, the impact can be felt across the United States, spanning the rail industry to the ports in order to meet the growing global demand.